Chinese history, when a man was deified for a thousand years, he must be a great man. But Glossoganoderma, a fungus, has been deified for 2,000 years. What special value has it? In this colorful world of living beings, there is a flourishing kingdom of plants, an animal kingdom ruled by mankind, and a special kingdom of fungi, separate from all. The kingdom of fungi is a lily put, composed of a large number of small fungi varieties. They can only draw nutrition from decomposing plant or animals, living a scavenging or parasite life. In the kingdom of fungi, the most highly evolved are the residual Lilliputians, which are closely related to human life. Hedgehog, Hydnum, Glossy, Ganoderma, and other valuable, edible, or medicinal fungi are among them. They form the nobility of the kingdom. Among the noble fungi, the most brilliant one in human cultural and medicinal fields is glossy Ganoderma. Its elegance, high value, and indomitable character have won the favor and respect of the Chinese people. Xinong, recognized by the Chinese people as the father of agriculture and medicine, compiled the Xinong's Medica Materia 2,000 years ago. More than 300 herbal medicines were recorded. Glossy Ganoderma was listed as one of the main medicines. It was described as having the effects of slowing the aging process and revitalization when taken constantly. This book is still a classic today. Two thousand one hundred years ago, in Emperor Woody's palace, glossy Ganoderma grew on pillars which were rotten due to poor maintenance. In order to avoid punishment, some officials told Woody that his merits moved heaven, and glossy Ganoderma was granted as a token of peace in the country. Woody was greatly pleased and ordered people to offer him glossy Ganoderma as a tribute. Woody of Han was a wise and powerful emperor. Why would he believe the officials lie? The reason was Woody accepted Dong Zhongshu's suggestion and made Confucianism the state religion of the feudal society. This trend lasted for more than 2,000 years. The core of Dong's theory was the interaction between God and man. When an emperor is going to prosper, heaven will show the people some good omen. Glossy Ganoderma in the palace reflected the emperor's virtue. It predicted prosperity and peace and a long reign. So Glossy Ganoderma was known as the lucky herb and the rulers assigned to it a mysterious supernatural power. After that, it became a rule in the following dynasties for the people to offer glossy Ganoderma as a tribute to the emperor. Old farmers and highlanders searched ruthlessly for glossy Ganoderma in remote, thickly forested mountains. Thus, glossy Ganoderma became a token of holiness, nobility, good harvest and national prosperity. It became a mascot for the country 
for more than 2,000 years. In nature, glossy Ganoderma is rare and precious. Though there are more than a hundred species of Ganoderma, only a few are commonly seen and used in medicine. Glossy Ganoderma, Pine Ganoderma, and Purple Ganoderma are the most favored ones. They grow on cut stakes or fallen trees. Tropics, subtropics, and forests rich in rainwater are ideal for growth. Historical capitals such as Xi'an, Kaifeng and Beijing are all located in the north and not suitable for the growth of Ganoderma. If glossy Ganoderma grew in the palace, it must be the result of warm and humid weather. This would bring a bumper harvest to the ancient farmers perhaps being the real reason for glossy Ganoderma to become a lucky omen sometime in history. After a rudy of Han, Taoists gave more deification to glossy Ganoderma. The main aim of Taoists is to become immortal. They felt by quiet meditation and the taking of magical herbs, they would be able to rise to heaven and become immortal. Glossy Ganoderma is prominent among their potions. Therefore, Glossy Ganoderma got the name of Magic Herb. The Taoists wanted to get glossy Ganoderma, but it's rare. They wouldn't indulge all in imagination, but made efforts to cultivate it. This enhanced the research into glossy Ganoderma in ancient times. The target of the Taoists is eternal life, but glossy Ganoderma offers only longer life. Thus, their myth of rising to heaven was gradually shattered. In the Ming Dynasty, the fascination of glossy Ganoderma declined together with Taoism. In his compendium of Materia Medica, the Ming Dynasty pharmacologist Li Shijin wrote, Glossy Ganoderma is grown on rotten wood. But people think it's a lucky herb and can make people immortal. That is absurd. Meanwhile, in the vast number of Chinese medicine prescriptions, Ganoderma is rarely seen. In opposing the deification of glossy Ganoderma, people went to another extreme. of politics and culture, people's enthusiasm in the deification of glossy Ganoderma didn't decline. Ancient artists created more ideal and beautiful images of glossy Ganoderma through sculpture and painting. They called the image Rui, which means everything will turn out as one wishes. Many artist shapes were made, such as Rui comes, Rui tree, Rui cloud, and re patterns, and so on. With a brilliant image, glossy Ganodermia, a besidual Lilliputian can now enter palaces and halls honorably as a mascot for the state religion and the amulet of emperors. 
the glossy Ganoderma was glorified together with Confucianism and emperors. Emperors might fall, but as long as Confucianism was prevailing, new emperors would rise and glossy Ganoderma would continue to be glorious. But the unshakable ones were Confucianism and imperial power. Glossy Ganoderma has always served as a background. The deep influence of Glossy Ganoderma actually reflects the Chinese people's wish for stability, peace and good luck. Maybe this is the root of the simple repetition of feudal rule in China for 2,000 years. By the influence of China, glossy Ganoderma has also been a mascot in Japan, Korea and other Asian countries. Chinese people used to paint Rui patterns onto all spots where a good omen is needed. Glossy Ganoderma is also praised in works of literature. In mascots created by the Chinese people, the dragon, unicorn and phoenix are all imaginary mixed images of animals. But Glossy Ganoderma is the only one coming from the plant fungus kingdom and is a real living organism. Without any special qualities, could it achieve such a special position? Scientists have now identified its main chemical constituents. They are Ganoderma polysaccharides, tritropenoids, nucleotides, and alkaloids. Ganoderma polysaccharides and tritropenoids are the main curative constituents. The effect and curing mechanism of Ganoderma on the cardiovascular system, the nervous system, and the immune system are basically understood. The anti-carcinogenic effect of glossy Ganoderma and its mechanism were also studied. With old age, disorder in the cardiovascular system occurs first. Blood viscosity and the content of cholesterol and triglycerides in the blood increase. They deposit on blood vessel walls and cause anterior sclerosis, coronary sclerosis, thrombus, and so on. Blood circulation is hindered and blood supply to the heart is insufficient. This may trigger off coronary disease or a stroke. Diseases will cause the undernutrition of some muscular tissues, leading to their aging and atrophy, and thus initiate diseases in some internal organs. The tritropenoids in glossy Ganoderma can promote blood circulation and reduce the contents of cholesterol and triglycerides in blood. So, it has the effect of preventing and curing hyperlipemia, coronary sclerosis, and other heart diseases. Pharmacological experiments showed glossy Ganoderma has a tranquilizing effect on the central nervous system and it's effective in treating nervosism and insomnia. In accordance with records in the Herbal Classic, 
which stated that glossy Ganoderma can tranquilize, increase wisdom, and help memory. Ganoderma, effective for promoting the immune system in human body, are Ganoderma polysaccharides and triterpenoids. T lymphocytes and macrophages are the most important immune cells in the human body. They are effectively activated by the effective components of Ganoderma to kill more abnormal cells, such as the cancer cells. The degree of cancer inhibition of glossy Ganoderma is not very high. It's usually 50 to 60 percent. But it's already excellent for a herbal medicine. Besides, activating the above two kinds of immune cells to kill cancer cells directly, glossy Ganoderma can also make them produce and release tumor necrosis factor and interferon. Tumor necrosis factor and interferon can kill more cancer cells. Though the inhibitory function of modern radiotherapy and chemotherapy is better than glossy Ganoderma, they kill at the same time useful cells such as macrophages, T lymphocytes, bone marrow, hemopoietic cells and white blood cells. This will greatly lower the body's immunity to disease and make it extremely weak. Once treatment has stopped, remaining cancer cells will revive with more vigor. Glossy Ganoderma treatment and radio and chemotherapy can complement each other. Besides its own anti-cancer function, Glossy Ganoderma has anti-radiation effect and can reduce the damage of the above-mentioned important cells by radiation and drugs. It can raise the endurance of human body towards chemo or radiotherapy. Many cancer patients were relieved greatly of their symptoms after taking Glossy Ganoderma. patients are too weak to take radio or chemotherapy. After taking glossy Ganoderma extract, their condition can be greatly improved and can endure chemo or radiotherapy. Since ancient times, glossy Ganoderma has been used as a precious tonic. Today, the mechanism of improving health by glossy Ganoderma is more clearly explained by modern science. If the function of the important systems in the human body is in disorder, disease will occur. The effective components of glossy Ganoderma can make the systems function properly alone and with each other, and thus improve stability. Besides ensuring internal coordination, Glossy Ganoderma can also ensure the coordination of the human body with the external environment. The normalizing effect of Glossy Ganoderma is not only useful in treating and preventing certain diseases, it's specially effective in the treatment of common diseases. Prevention is more important than cure. Glossy Ganoderma has an important effect in the health care of ordinary people. For example, the quick pace of modern life may put people under constant stress, leading to nervousness, insomnia, dizziness, and poor appetite. The normalizing power of glossy Ganoderma can improve appetite, make people energetic, and raise their resistance to disease. After all, Glossy Ganoderma can significantly retard the process of aging. 
This is the real meaning of preventing aging and immortalizing when taken constantly, as described by Shi Nong's Medica Materia. Therefore, it is now included in the 2000 new edition of the Pharmacopoeia of the People's Republic of China. How can glossy Ganoderma contain so many helpful and incredible substances? In summer and autumn, when the sporocarp of glossy Ganoderma is ripe, it will release a large number of spores. This is its means of reproduction. The spores fly with the wind. Most of them become dust and mud. Only a few lucky ones happen to fall on a piece of motherly wood. Secondary hyphae secrete constantly cellulose hydrolase to the host wood to hydrolyze cellulose and take it up as its nutrition. As long as nutrition is sufficient, secondary hyphae can live for several years or even hundreds of years. The great vitality of the mycelium manifests its ability of resisting foul environmental conditions such as humidity and the attack of foreign fungi. Glossy Ganoderma is outstanding in this respect among the basidiomycetes. When the nutrition in the base material is exhausted or environmental factors become unfavorable, the mycelia will turn into growth for reproduction. Buttons are formed, which grow into sporocarps. Countless basidia grow up in the sporocarps. That's why mushrooms and glossy Ganoderma are called basidiomycetes. The two nuclei in a basidium combine into one to complete karyogamy. Then two fissions give four nuclei which form four spores. Finally, the ripe spores are ejected by the basidium. Then a new generation of glossy Ganoderma is born. Thus, glossy Ganoderma grow in warm and humid forests, on aged trees or wood blocks. It turns rot into marvel and connects human beings with nature. Basidiomycetes such as mushroom, white fungus, hydnum, and bamboo fungus all live on lipocellulose. They all contain, in varying degrees, materials helpful to human health. It's not pure coincidence. It's because in the course of the decomposition of lignocellulose and the synthesis of nutrients, substances very helpful to human health are formed. The human body cannot digest lignocellulose. Most important is that glossy Ganoderma not only consumes lignocellulose, its spore hearts will lignify finally. During this process, Ganoderma polarize and triterpenoids are produced, but are physiologically active in the human body. These substances are the most vital substances in glossy Ganoderma. worldwide is juicer of cultivated glossy Ganoderma. Ganoderma produced are exported to more than 10 countries. The Taoists of a thousand years ago Maryland Ganoderma. Now it has become a reality. 